Okay, so this is just a video about how to open any sort of uh, bottle that's not twist off, um, like a glass bottle. And I learned this trick in Japan when I was without a bottle opener and some Japanese guy, old man who was drinking with me had a, uh, had a lighter and he showed me how to do it with a lighter. So I'll probably do this one with a lighter and then you can see I've got a, a case of pop down there that I won't drink, I'll just open and pour out. And then I've opened up a few of these over the past couple days and you'll see some uh, of those videos when I edit them, I'll put them together. So anyways, what you wanna do is wrap your fingers in your hand tight around the top. And what you wanna do is make this part of your hand or finger really rock solid, so you have to sort of squeeze hard. Oh, by the way, uh, I've tried where you sort of bash this onto a piece of wood, like a picnic table or something, and that has broken the glass in the past. Also, my dad says something like where you, you tap it with a metal spatula, and then you go like this, and that works, but you have to hit this really, really perfect, and so it's kind of, it's, it's not a very good idea as far as bulletproof. Whereas this, this uh, system is bulletproof. So you squeeze, or, you know, I don't have a really good grip right now, but you basically want to make this a leverage point, a point of uh, the, the fulcrum uh, and leverage up onto the, the bottle cap. And uh, well, you'll see here. So the first thing I have is a lighter and you can see it's taken a chip out from the previous one that I made. So with a lighter, you kind of have to sort of relax your finger a little bit and then squeeze and adjust. And you want to make it hard, really, really hard. And then pop that open just like that. Okay, so I've edited a few other, or I've just taken quick videos of other openings of these, this Miller Genuine Draft. So I'll throw those in after. But here I have a, uh, a case of Canada Dry ginger ale. So it basically works on any sort of bottle cap. So for instance, here's just a regular old butter knife. Same thing. This one I would grab a little bit higher. And sort of just find it where it's pried under it. Now I squeeze and up I come on it and open it up. I just grabbed some things from my, my kitchen. So this one might be a little tricky, but here's a fork. No problem. Here's a spoon. Oh, sorry, it's a teaspoon. So again, you grip the top of it and don't squeeze overly hard, but you want to make this part hard and you sort of just want to leverage up. And if you, if you relax this hand and it pushes in, if this, I don't know what you call the other side of a fulcrum, but anyways, the, the pivot point, if it's soft, then it will just sort of it won't have a, a, it won't pry it up. But as long as you squeeze tight, get that under, and then very easily. Okay, so this is a, a smaller lighter that I found. There's a bigger, just regular size lighter, and this is like a mini one. So this, you know, with lighters they could break because it's plastic. So I prefer just a kitchen knife or a pair of scissors. I did a pair of scissors on the, in the beer one. Okay, so I got that under. And then I squeeze my fingers. And you give it all. You don't half it.
So yeah, this is what I prefer the most, just a butter knife or a pair of scissors. Just really easy, so quick. And you know, it takes a little bit of getting used to. And so for the final one, I have, sorry, a set of car keys and I talked about them. I opened a beer earlier tonight with my car keys. So with that one I used this. So I'll use this one for this example, which is my mailbox key. So this one's a little bit, you don't want to hurt the key. So you just want to uh, make that finger really, really strong and up it comes. So that's about it. I'll add the other videos and you'll hopefully get the hang of it and it's, you never need a bottle opener again. Okay, so for this one, I'm just gonna um, try and open a beer bottle with keys. This is one of your least preferred methods because there's not a lot of room on the key and you wouldn't wanna break the key, but it does work. And so I'll just choose, this one seems the strongest. This one seems like it has the most surface area. So I think I'm gonna go with the most surface area. Anyway, so usually keys are always on the person, so. It's, uh, it's always a go-to method. So again, you just squeeze, and because it's a, a key, it's a little bit uh, thin, so I would move up as high as I can. And then when you squeeze, sorry, I get this in first, into the point, and then when I squeeze, that uh, tightens it right up, and then off comes the the bottle, no problem.